Alright, so good day everyone and welcome again to Mr. V's tutorial. So today we're going to talk about BusyBook. So what is BusyBook? So BusyBook is a simple, powerful appointment scheduling software. So this is the easiest way to schedule customers and send appointment reminders. Okay, so BusyBook, we can use this to schedule or book an appointment to a particular uh, event. So for example, your parent-teacher conference, our student-led conferences, or something like that. So you can use busy book, busy book for the students to go to the calendar, select a time, and then uh, confirm an appointment. And they can also, uh, you can also send reminders to them. And you can also message, message them through the portal. Okay, so let's go and dive in to the website of BusyBook. So the first thing you need to do is to open a web browser. For example, I'm going to use this Microsoft Mozilla Firefox. A Mozilla Firefox. Sorry, not Microsoft Mozilla Firefox. I complain all of them. So it's just Mozilla Firefox and just type in busybook.com and it will straight bring you to this website, to the website of Busybook. So in here, you can send, uh, you can read the different functionality. What can you do with Busybook? What are the functions? What are the features of Busybook? So first, they send customers automatic text message reminders chat with customers, accept payments or deposits from customers, and it can also sync in your Google Calendar. So how it works? So first, you need to set up your availability. So later on, we're going to uh, go through these steps. Set up your availability, share your calendar URL, and then customers book their own appointments. And then you will receive customers receive automatic reminders so it's up to you whether you schedule uh, your your notification or your reminders will set up for 24 hours or so so here are some review and personally i'm using this one for our school's student-led conference okay so let's now go on the first thing we need to do to set up a calendar session or availability is to either log in so log into your account so so far the first thing you need to do is to log in so just click log in and since this is the first time you are using this website the fir uh, what you can do is to sign in with Google if your Google account is sign in yeah So you can sign in using your Google account or if you don't want to, you can also create a new account and then sign up. So after signing up, you have the options to log in again or create an account or book an appointment with someone. So since you are the one who is setting up availability, you're going to create an account. So again, in using, in creating your account, you're the VisiBook website will go through you wherein what is the functionality that you can do with VisiBook. So number one is automatically send text reminders. Then sync to Google and Outlook calendars. Message individuals and classes. Then also accept payments or deposits if you are accepting some kind of payments. But I'm not going through this one because no, we are in free. We are using this for free. Okay. okay, so just click OK once you go through those four uh, reminders of what you can do with Visible. Alright, so just plug in your information here. So your first name, your last name, your mobile phone, your email, and then your password. Also, you can sign in. Still, you can sign in 
with Google if your Google account is logged into your browser. Okay. So after you input those information, I'm not going through this one because I already have an account on Visibook. Just click create calendar. So how does it look like inside a Visibook calendar? Okay, so in the Visibook calendar, this is how it looks like. So you can personalize your calendar by putting some logos, pro some profile pictures, and also later on uh, a personal link to your calendar so you, you can see here my link is like personalized already so Venturina's S SLC's schedule so I will show you how to edit that later okay so that's how you create an account in Visible. so how are you going to set up an availability so, for example, I'm going to set up an availability for Friday tomorrow. So, I'm go, I will go to that date, so Friday, and click on the calendar, on the space on the calendar. Just like setting up a meeting in your class teams. So, click on it and you see that you can set an appointment or you can set an availability okay so click here to add an appointment so just click ok so we're going to set an availability so we will create an availability so in here we're going to choose what time is your for example your parent teacher conference so i'm going to click this time and change it from for example from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. so that is the available range of the time for your customer to select okay then okay and then what are your services to offer so click on it so I already have this student-led conference or if you want to add some so you can click the create a service so for example service name is parent teacher conference so type of an appointment individual overlap appointment so if you want to overlap the appointments you can check that one how how long is the duration of your for period so I'm just going to set it for So zero hour and 30 minutes or 45 minutes it's up to you so i'm going to set it up for 30 minutes only so put payment optional so no no so you can select a color that represents your meeting or your appointment availability so i'm going to select green and set up under the description so nphs parent conference so this is just all made up okay it's just an example then January 15 2021 from so this is also the place where you can give instruction to your clients clients so this is for example this select a convenient time convenient time that you can join us for uh, for your child's PTC okay okay so that's it that's the instruction then just go back and review the information that you put in then just click add okay so i could select that and then just click ok okay so that's it that's the information so your 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 clients can be scheduled from 11 a.m and then 
with a variety of from you can also set this up how how does your uh, pattern of schedule will be look like in your class so for every 30 minutes or 11 50, or every 15 minutes 30 minutes or 45 minutes okay so I just leave it like that or you can use okay, since every since we you said you just set it up for 30 minutes for each of available appointments so just click ok and then click save and now you have this availability so 11 a.m on february uh, on january 15 11 a.m to 7 p.m availability for parent teacher conference so this is how it looks like on your calendar all right so how does it look like on your customers page or customers view once they access your account or your calendar so so for you for your for your client or customers or your students or your parents can access this what you can only what you can do what you only need to do is to share your URL or the link to this calendar so when I'm here I'm just going to click on the link and highlight it control C copy and I'm going to open it on another browser so you can see it so and then control V then hit enter and this is how it looks like on your customers page so welcome so it's just an information about me it uh, the first time your customer uh, visit your website or your calendar this message will pop up just giving them some information about you about the person that they are going to book with so just click cancel or go to calendar it's up to you just, just bring you on the same page so go to calendar and you will see here it is uh, arranged in terms of month so you can see that there is availability on Friday. So when the customer click on here, so they will get they will say this message, the description about the message, the service details. So parent teacher conference for 30 minutes, then you have your information. So just click close and it will ask them to select a time. So for example, I'm going to select 11:30 a.m then it will tell them to confirm the selection and yeah so just click next and some information so contact details so student for example student id or their email address whatever email address they want to use so for example i'm going to use my email address elvin3 at gmcs.org then just click next and then first name the first name so for example me and then a phone number if they have a phone number So send a note with this booking just optional then just click agree with the terms of use then book an appointment so so at the end of it after they booked an appointment they will ask if they want to create an account so it's up to your clients uh, clients discretion if they want to create an account then on my side this is how it looks like so Lucas Venturina booked an appointment on that particular period so information I can see it if there's a private note I can also cancel this appointment if they canceled it it's up to them all right then you see I already got an email that says a parent is already booked an appointment for PTC parent teacher conference okay so that's how easy to set up 
your busy book calendar for appointment booking. If you have any questions about this uh, website or application or program, you can leave that in the comment section.